Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, sorry for the delay in the uploading of the videos because of some health issues. I was not able to record videos the past few days. And uh, another thing because of uh, a bit of a sore throat, uh, my voice may be a bit screechy. So I apologize for that. So uh, today we are going to resume our discussion on analog electronics so we'll be discussing another type of diode circuit which is rectifiers so in the next series of videos we'll be discussing some questions on rectifiers first half wave rectifiers and then full wave rectifiers <clears throat> so this is the first question that we are going to solve and the question is that the apply input power AC power to a half wave rectifier is 100 watts and the DC output power obtained is 40 watts what is the rectification efficiency and what happens to the remaining 60 watts okay so we all know that the basic purpose of rectifier is conversion of AC into DC okay this is the basic purpose so we use diodes because it always conducts in one direction current flows in only one direction so depending upon the positive and negative half cycle and the in a, you know in the way the circuit design how the diodes are connected we can have different diode rectifier circuits half wave rectifier full wave rectifier in full wave also there are two types center tapped and bridge type rectifier so here we have given we have been given a half wave rectifier circuit we have a half wave rectifier circuit the input AC power is equal to 100 watts okay and the output DC power is given 40 watts so if we design a basic half wave rectifier circuit This is the supply, this is the diode, this is the load resistance. Depending upon the type of diode, it can have an internal resistance which will be represented as small r subscript f, the forward resistance. So basically, the input power is given by I square RMS into rf plus rl that is the input power and the output dc power is given by i square dc into rl this much here i rms and i dc they are derived from the maximum value of the current which flows through the circuit here i rms is equal to im by 2 this is only for half wave rectifier and the idc is given by im by pi where im is the maximum value of current flowing through the half wave rectifier circuit okay this so here there is no such parameter given like what is the value of the voltage or the value of the load resistance simply directly we have been given the AC input is 100 watts and the output DC is 40 watts now rectifier efficiency is 
it is given by output DC power divided by input AC power the ratio of output to input output is DC input is AC simply here we will put the values 40 by 100 which is 0 0.4 in terms of percentage it is 40 percent okay this is the rectifier efficiency this is the first part of the question then it has been given or it has been asked what happens to the remaining 60 watts because out of the total 100 watts which is given as input only 40 watt is converted into DC so if you remember a half wave rectifier circuit okay this one the AC input which is given which consists of both positive and negative half cycles okay this is the positive half cycle this is the negative half cycle sorry this is negative half cycle by mistake I've written mine this is the negative half cycle so during the positive half cycle this one is positive this one is negative the diode is forward biased and behaves as a short circuit and as a result of which current flows okay current flows during the negative half cycle this is minus this is plus as a result the diode behaves as a reverse bias open circuit and as a result no current flows <clears throat> okay so I've already discussed a lot of videos in, in a lot of videos basic concepts related to diodes various applications of diodes uh, such as rectifiers zener diodes voltage regulators clippers clampers I've already discussed you can check the analog electronics playlist for that so here uh, the total input AC power 100 watts which is there it is equally divided in both the positive and the negative half cycle but during the entire negative half cycle the diode is non-conducting so only this positive half cycle is utilized the 50 watt in the positive half cycle is utilized so if we in a way the total efficiency taking into account only the 50 watt in the positive half cycle is 40 watt by 50 watt this is the output and this is the input during the positive half cycle so this will be equal to 80 percent but here we have to determine the total rectifier efficiency taking into account the total input AC power so for that we have to take 100 watt and in that way it is 40 percent but if we take only the positive half cycle okay then it will be 80 percent so the power uh, the remaining 60 watts out of which 10 watt from the positive half cycle and 50 watt from the negative half cycle it is not utilized okay only out of that only out of the plus 50 watt in the positive half cycle only 40 watt is converted into DC the 50 watt in the negative half cycle is not utilized at all because the diode is reverse biased open circuit okay so this is the basic concept related to uh, half wave rectifier for power conversion to AC into DC okay 